Welcome to Tell Me the Treasures. Today we're learning Ksuba's page 84, which relates the following story of a shepherd who's watching animals. A person came along, someone who was owed money, and he decided to grab one of these animals, one of these oxen, because this is the person that owned these animals. He owed him money. So subsequently, we find out the owner of all these animals had died. So the law is that if you are what's called a balchov, if you're someone that is owed money, you have the right to be able to grab hold of their possessions and you have some legal rights to it as long as they were still alive. However, once that person died, even though you're owed the money, we say all of those possessions automatically go to the people who inherit it, namely the somim, his children. And then afterwards, it's all calculated how we have to pay up all these debts. So there was a dispute. The shepherd said, you grabbed hold of this animal only after the man had died, and therefore he had no right to do so. And the people that grabbed it, this guy, he said, no, I grabbed it while the man was still alive. And of course, there was no death certificate, but we went to a court, and the court decided based on the following. They asked a question to the shepherd. Do you have any other witnesses that actually saw that he went into this field and grabbed the animal? And he said, no, I have no witnesses. So in that case, they get to keep it. Why? This is because there's a concept called amigu, that a person can make a stronger claim. They could have said that he actually outright bought this animal. And since he could say that he actually owns this animal because no one actually saw him take it, so therefore he's also believed to say that he grabbed hold of it while the original owner and the, the one who owed the money was still alive. On this, the Talmud asked a question. Now, there's an interesting concept that if you have possession of something, possession is nine-tenths of the law that you're considered like the owner. And that's a concept also in our discussion as well. If you're the one who is the muqsa, the holder of an object, then the likelihood is that it is yours. However, that does not apply when it comes to small animals because animals move all over the place. So if a person has, let's say, uh, a dog that just wanders onto my property, I can't say, oh, now it's my dog because dogs could potentially go from one place to the next. So it's the same thing when it comes to any animals, like sheep or oxen, like in this situation, the fact that this person is the one holding onto this animal should not be good. He shouldn't have this migu because after all, it's possible just like a animal that walks into my property, he shouldn't have the right to automatically claim that it's his. And on this, the Talmud says a great answer. It says, this is a different situation because there was a shepherd. What is the shepherd's job? His one responsibility, the one thing that he has to do is make sure that these animals stay on this field, that they stay on this property. And therefore, the fact that this person actually has it, there's only two possible answers. It must be either he grabbed hold of it or he actually purchased it. It's not possible that he ran away. It ran off. And because of that, we don't apply this normal concept that you cannot be considered the owner on an animal that runs away. But we see from here a very basic concept that there are people in this world that have roles and responsibilities. And sometimes you only have one job to do. And for whatever reason, they don't do that one job correctly. The Talmud over here says that is obviously not possible. If you hire someone to do a job and they have a responsibility to be able to do something, then it's certainly assumed that that job was done properly. And therefore, the shepherd's job was to watch this animal and therefore this animal must have been watched. It could not have just simply have wandered off. And therefore, we need to also learn from here that the Talmud just assumes that a person has the work ethic, that if you have responsibilities and obligations that you must do, that you accept it upon yourself upon accepting a job and you're being compensated for doing certain jobs is doing certain things that you must do it and certainly if your job is just to do one thing